Hi, I'm Andy Ditchfield and welcome to Early Doors, a series of short videos designed to give you something to mull over as you start your weekend. Today I'm going to talk about pivot table grouping. Uh, I was chatting to some friends over WhatsApp yesterday in India and we were thinking about what to do this week and we we're talking about slices but I think before you get to slices I think you need to look at pivot tables, how they're constructed and how you might use slices on top. We've got a large data set, well constructed, with row bounding it either side, end home to the bottom right, and then anywhere in the data set, control on A to show me the current region, and then we're going to insert a pivot table. So from the menu, insert pivot table. The default is insert it onto a new worksheet. That's fine. Click OK. New tab opens up. If we just dial it up, now I'm going to do a pivot table and then I'm going to show you groupings by text, by values and also by dates. Basic pivot table there. If we just put in our region in the row field and just stick in the sum of the name which would be effective in the count of the records. So just make that wider. And now if I want to make some grouping, so if I want to do the things in the south, right click group. Now I find with it putting all the subtotals in it's then confusing. So if I remove the subtitles it's far easier to get the second group then because I can then pick the ones next to each other in the Midlands, group those and the ones in the north including Scotland and group those. We can now call them South Midlands and the north and by right clicking we can put back on the subtotal again so it subtotals by region. So the second way of grouping things is to do it by one of the value fields. So if we just make a copy of that pivot table, control V there. Now I'm going to leave the count but I'm going to take out the region and the summary region and now I'm going to summarize Let's summarise the EBITDA for the year. So put all the values into the row field. And because these are all values now, if we if we right click on this, click group, it gives you the options and it, it gives you the lowest and the highest in your data range and suggests how you might want to group it. So let's say for instance we want to start at 250,000. And let's say we want to go to 500,000 and we will increment that by 125,000. Excel has then immediately grouped it together. Okay, these then are editable. So if we want to just tidy these up and the final one greater than 500,000. Voila, okay. And then on the date field, again, I'm just copying the pivot table down. It's always easier once you've got one set up. We'll take away the EBITDA now and we'll add in there the, what I've put in is, I've put an inspection date in of the site, just randomly made. And what Excel does with dates, it automatically groups them for you. So it puts in the years, puts in the dates, and the quarters. So in this case, does it groups it by January, February, March, quarter one, quarter two. If we don't want the quarters, we can just come to the wizard and remove that. And each one of them will expand. So very easily done, um, very useful. And what I will show you next time is how to combine this with the addition of slices etc to get some really powerful analysis going. Well that's all for this video thanks for watching. Please click the thumbs up beneath the video if you enjoyed it and feel free to leave me a comment. My contact details will appear when the beer is poured. Cheers!